In previous videos, I've talked about using Etsy and Shopify to host your stores. I've even done a video where I compare the two and talk about the pros and cons of each one of them. But there are actually a lot of other options outside of Etsy and Shopify. So in this video, I wanna show you another option for hosting your store online, which might be an even better option for you. Before this video starts, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because it does really help out the channel. There are many different ways to create an online store and there are pros and cons to each one of those methods. For example, using Etsy is very simple and straightforward, easy to set up, but it lacks a lot of the customization options. And another downfall of Etsy is that there's a lot of competition on there and Etsy as a platform will show your potential customers all of those options. Shopify, on the other hand, has a lot more customization options, but its downfall is with the heavy monthly cost on top of the already existing additional fees per sale. I've now found a third way to host your website online and that is through the use of Hostinger which uses WordPress and WooCommerce to host your store online. This method is a little bit more hands-on than the other two and what I mean by that is you will have to take more time to figure out all the customization options and exactly how to make your website layout the way you want it to look. It is very similar to Shopify, however, with just a little bit more difficulty. The bright side is that there are a lot of tutorials online and on YouTube, and the biggest benefit to all of this is that by using Hostinger, you don't have to pay for any percentage of any sale. All you have to pay for is the low monthly cost to actually run that website. So if we actually go over to Hostinger right now, you'll see that in order to host your website, it's only $2.79 per month with three months free. You can also get an additional 10% off if you use the code Robert Dellens at checkout. The link for Hostinger will be in my description, but I do want to talk about these crazy benefits. Not only are these monthly prices here a lot lower than Shopify's monthly prices for all of their packages, but you also don't have to pay any percentage on any sale that you make here like you would on Shopify, and you still get the customization that you would through Shopify on this web page. Now that we know what the method is and all the prices, let's talk about exactly how you would get into this and how it would look actually making your website. The first thing you'd have to do is create your account with Hostinger and get that account all set up. This is actually very easy to do because all it is is filling in a little bit of information and Hostinger will take care of the rest. This information comes along with preferences on how you would like the website to look and what you're going to be using the website for. Once you have that hosting your account set up, you can move into the dashboard of your website where primarily all of everything you'll ever have to do is in the WooCommerce tab. This WooCommerce tab is where you'll be modifying everything to create your web page to look like it's supposed to. And the best part is that this WooCommerce tab actually comes with templates. So you'll just go through, add your store details, add your products, and all the rest of the information here, and you can start personalizing your store. Going through those steps with WooCommerce will get your web page looking really nice and clean and getting everything set up pretty basic. Once you have the WooCommerce side of this done, you'll have to pick your fulfillment company that you want to work with. Make sure that your fulfillment company that you pick will work with WooCommerce. That includes Printify and Printful. In my case, I head over to Printify, and this is where you have to make sure that you either make your first design or you take the design that you already have. Use that design and put it onto a product and once you have a product that you're ready to post on your WooCommerce website, link your fulfillment company to your WooCommerce and this should be very, very simple. For Printify, it was really easy. All I had to do was log into my WooCommerce account and everything was put together. So now all I have to do is publish my one product that I created on Printify and bam, it's going to be there on my WooCommerce page. Now that you have your fulfillment company set up with your WooCommerce page, you have everything going the way it should be. The last thing to do is to do your customization if you want to make your website look any different and finally advertise your website. Now going through this hosting route instead of doing something like Etsy means that you will have to do your own marketing and advertising. So unlike Etsy where they have their own explore page and their own search bar, you will have to do different advertising methods and if you guys are interested in hearing about those you can go check out my video where I talk about various different advertising techniques. And that is everything you need to know about using Hostinger as a platform to host your store. So let's do a little recap of the pros and cons for actually using this. The biggest pros are that there's a much lower monthly cost when compared to Shopify and there are no percentage paid on every sale that you make. 
This means that you can have higher profit margins or you could lower your prices and have a competitive edge on any of your competition. Along with this, you also get all of the customization options and you can make the store look however you want. This is, after all, your website at this point. The biggest negative to using Hostinger is that there is a bit of a learning curve and it can be a little bit more uncomfortable to learn everything about WooCommerce and WordPress when it comes down to the nitty gritty about customizing every little tiny detail. This might be more challenging to some, or it might be very interesting to others who are really dedicated to learning how to customize their stores. Like I said earlier, the good thing is that there are a lot of tutorials online and on YouTube that'll show you exactly how to do everything you need to do. Now, I'm not saying that this is the best option in every single case, but I am saying that it's very unique that you don't have to pay any percentage on all your sales and the monthly costs are so low. I think that using Hostinger and WooCommerce is one of those good options when your store starts growing so that you can actually create it the way you want to and you can maximize on all those profits. Once again, if you guys are interested in using Hostinger, then be sure to check out the description. I'll have a link posted there. And don't forget to use the coupon code Robert Dellens as one word to get 10% off your purchase. A big thanks to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. That's all for me. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.